Oh. Hello there. Welcome to the Narciss Prince single segment guide. I've been working on this, and only this, for about two months now. It has taken a ridiculous amount of effort, uh, a lot of my time, basically all of it, and this video is very long because of that. Um, I just want to say, to start off, thank you so much to the Super Punch-Out to be here in a community. It has grown a lot in the past year. Uh, even before that, it was growing pretty fast, but especially recently, it is growing a lot. And it's great to see. So, I'm happy to be able to put out a guide for undoubtedly the most complicated fight in the entire game. No one really seems to know exactly what to do on everything, and this guide will hopefully clear a lot of that up. I just want to preface this by saying that it is not exactly expected that you memorize all of this, especially not very quickly. So, if you're having trouble learning something, don't worry. It is not easy. Uh, like I said, this video is really long, so, you know, grab a drink, um, and maybe a snack or something, I don't know. Um, uh, but yeah. I guess I'll start now. So before we get into any of the actual strats, we have to go over some terms. First off, we've got pre-angry. This just refers to the time in the fight before you've punched Narciss in the face, which then gets him into his angry phase, which is obviously the next term. Uh, when he goes into his angry phase, he does an angry pattern. One of four. One is two right jabs and then uppercuts. Second one is two right jabs and then body blows. The third one is two left jabs and then uppercuts. The fourth one is left jab, right jab, and then uppercuts. Next up is retaliation, or what I'll be referring to it as retal for short. It's during pre-angry, and when you try to punch him, he has a chance of retaliating. Then there's refills. Refills have a play in every fight in the game, technically, but in Narciss it is particularly important. There are five refills that we'll go over. Three of them apply to retaliation, two of them apply to counter. I know you don't necessarily know what that means yet, but it'll come up again, so just know that there are refills and that they matter. And last but not least, delays. So, this is another part of the Narciss fight that I think people kind of forget about, but Narciss can do a bunch of stuff to just delay everything and waste your time and change things in a very annoying way, and this is something that we'll get into more later because this is just super advanced to stuff, but just know that Narciss, uh, he, he can block your punch, that can delay stuff, he can uh, do a spin out of the way, he can only do a spin when you try to punch him though, so he can't just do that in, like, idly. Uh, he can do a twirl thing, I don't really know what it is, I don't know how he does it either, uh, or he can just walk out of the way. And any of those, he can do in either direction, but they work the same way, so there's no real point in like, classifying them differently. Now on to part two. Part two is all about the pre-angry phase, which is pretty simple compared to a lot of other parts of the fight. Uh, the basics of it are just you're trying to land two left body blows. Obviously, at the start, you just do Garmin Ip up and then do left body blow and hope that he takes it. Uh, I'll get more into what to do based off of what he does uh, against each thing that you try and throw at him at, at the scenarios section, but just know, try to land two body blows. The very scary and very unfun delays are next. Uh, I could go over this right now, but uh, it comes up later in the advanced section of this guide, and so I'll just have all of them scroll past, like right here. There's like a million of them, especially for nobody counter. So if you're interested, uh, there you go. 
I recommend just looking at the written guide for this because it's just nice to have. Now, onto the scenarios. Like I said in the basic section, this is where I'll go over what you do when he does things. The scenarios are nobody or insta retail. I'll refer to it as either depending on the context. One body retail, no body counter, one body counter, and two body counter. Now the names should be pretty simple, but just in case you don't know, retail is obviously when he retaliates, which he can do on either the first or second body blow that you try to throw at him. And counter just means that you land zero to two body blows on him, and then you counter him. It's pretty simple. Now, the not so simple part is, well, if he moves out of the way after my first punch, can I try to land another one? The answer is yes, which is good, because it makes one body counter much more common, and you'll soon learn that one body counter is very good. Uh, if he walks out of the way, spins out of the way, twirls out of the way, or whatever, you can try and punch him right at the end of the animation. You can actually hit it a lot earlier than you think you could. And that will get a body blow, and then he'll go into his uh, left body, and then you can counter it. So, that's good. If he retaliates off of the first one, like I said, you block high, left body, and then you do a right jab. If he retaliates off of the second one, then you landed the first one, you block high, you do a left body, and then you do a right jab. Uh, another thing that can happen is he can block the first, and you can choose to either just wait it out until he does his left body so that you can counter it, or you can go for another left body to try and get him to retaliate. I'm not really sure which one to recommend either way, because they have their upsides and downsides. For example, off of uh, block and then retaliate, some of the situations can get messed up a little bit, uh, and some of them are made significantly tighter. But, like, I'll get more into that later, because that gets into delays and refill stuff that we don't really know about yet. Uh, and then, if you wait out for him to do his left body so that he can counter it, he has a chance of just delaying even more, which can cause problems in that situation as well. So it's really just whatever you want to do, honestly. There's no real objective good thing to do for that one, unlike a lot of things. Uh, in this fight. Now, when it comes to the counter scenarios for Pre Angry, uh, it's like I said before, you can land a body blow if he dodges on the first one, uh, so that's very helpful. But he also has a chance of just moving again when you do that, or blocking it when you try to do that, and so you'll end up in scenarios where you just get no body blows at all and then you counter. Which isn't necessarily terrible, but it's definitely not preferable. Uh, after you counter his left body, you counter it with your left body, believe it or not. Uh, you just do that, and then you do a left jab. You buffer a left jab. Uh, and that's for no body counter and two body counter. One body counter is a special situation. This is why I brought it up specifically earlier that it's good. Uh, one body counter... After you counter him, you do a tap dodge into a left jab. If you're familiar with the task strat, that's exactly what you do there, too. So, we'll get into more about how that changes things later, but just know that one body counter is the only one where you do a different thing after countering. And that is it for part two. Uh, now we get to get to the fun stuff, but first, I gotta make sure I check off this list. Part 3. Uh, this is just the basics of the angry phase. A lot of you will look at this stuff, or hear this stuff, and think, that's nowhere near basic, but the standard that Narciss has set is much higher than this, so this is the basic equivalent. Um, so, we've got a couple of things to go over first before we get into the strats and all the scenarios and everything, because there are a lot to go over. Uh, but, yeah. After you do whatever thing you did uh, at the end of 
pre-angry, where you punch him in the face, you gotta do a buffer to uh, hit him during his angry phase. So, the buffer for most of them is right body blow, left body blow, and then three right jabs. That last right jab is the important one, because that's where you have to branch off to a couple of things. And then, the one for one body counter is right body blow, quick duck, right body blow, and then two left jabs. Once again, that second last jab is the important one, because that's when you have to go into a bunch of branches. Uh, so just remember that the only one that's different, yet again, is one body counter. One body counter is always the one that's very different from other ones. So that's it for angry buffers. It's really simple stuff, that one. And then dizzy buffers that you need to know. Off of rapids, quick duck, low super. Off of literally anything else, low rapids, low super. Uh, you're going to be doing a lot of dizzying in this fight, uh, at least that's the goal. And so get good at these. Uh, quick Duck Low Super isn't too tricky. I know some people have had issues with it before. The one that I think people might have problems with at the start is Low Rapids Low Super, especially people who aren't playing on original hardware or are just not used to the timing of Rapids. What I do personally, let me get my controller. What I do personally is I, I am waiting for him to like take whatever thing I'm throwing at him to dizzy him. Uh, and I start holding the A button, and then when I see Max uh, low super animation start, I let go of A and immediately hit it again, and then that starts the rapids. And then after I see the rapids start, I let go again and hold A, because then right after the rapids end, he'll go into a low super. And if you can get good at that, that's very good. Uh, the worst thing that'll happen if you aren't super good at doing perfect rapids every time, you'll lose like a couple frames. So don't worry too much about that part. Alright, so how this is going to work is I'll take a scenario, and then I'm going to break that scenario down into other scenarios. Usually the angry pattern that he gives, but in some cases it's slightly different. Uh, and after I go through each one of those, I'm going to go through each individual thing that can happen off of whatever pattern I'm going off of, and then once we finish that one, we go on to the next, next one, etc. And then once we finish all of the ones in the pre-angry scenario, we go to the next pre-angry scenario, and the next one and the next one, you know the drill. So there's five. Uh, this will take a while. Some of them are very long because there's a lot of options you can do. So yeah, just get ready to learn some things. It's a lot. <laughs> now, one final thing before we start. Every time a backup ends with a counter, so just let's just say he dodged a rapid, right? And you counter him with a right body. Uh, just assume that after that counter, you do high rapids. It, it's something different and it like has to be something else I'll specify. That's not usually the case, but just in case. Uh, just assume that it's high rapids. Later on, we'll go into more complicated stuff where it's not just high rapids, but I think learning this and just starting out, it is so much easier to just do high rapids for everything than trying to cram all this stuff into your brain all at once, because this is a lot, like I've said before. Anyways, with that out of the way, first one we're going to be doing is nobody slash insta retaliation. I'll probably just be calling it a retail from now on, just letting you know. Uh, and this is last right jab counters, option one. You know, like I said before, at the end of the angry buffer, the last right jab is the most important one, because that one, it can counter, you can take it normally, or you can dodge it. And so this is when he counters, uh, and that's option one of two. You will see why they are different eventually. So, after you counter him with that last right jab, you throw a left jab and then a right jab, and then buffer another right jab, that counters him again. You throw another left jab, you pause. Uh, this pause is to fill up your super meter. Uh, get used to doing this because you do it a lot in this fight, especially in the immediate like situations. Uh, and then you throw high rapids. He has to take three of them to dizzy. He can dodge the second, dodge the third, or block the third. Uh, if he takes all three, boom. That's crazy good. Like, <laughs> really good. Uh, if he dodges the second one, you're buffering a right body. Three things can happen off of this. It can counter him, so it counters his body blow. It can hit normally, which means that he's doing uppercuts, which 
that means you have to delay a left body to counter the uppercut. And then if he dodges it, that also means he's doing uppercuts. So you just buffer the left body in that situation. When he dodges the third, you buffer a left body blow. It can counter his uppercut. Uh, so this time, countering isn't uh, when he does the body blows, it's when he does the uppercuts. Uh, it can counter his uppercut, and it can also interrupt his body blow. If it interrupts his body blow, you throw a left jab after, and then he's dizzy. You don't have to do any fancy stuff after that. That just means you do low rapids, low super, and then boom, he's down. It's pretty cool, actually. Uh, when he blocks a third, that is always when he's doing bodies. Uh, when he does that, you just buffer left body blow just like you do on Dodge's third, but you always know what's happening here, so you just always counter his body blow. Now this one. This is Last Right Jab Counters Option 2. The only reason this one is different is because after you do all the stuff that you did before, instead of high rapids after the pause, you do low rapids. Now, this one is safer, as in it goes through more often than him taking three high rapids. And the reason this is, is because when he do, when you do high rapids, uh, whenever he does body blows, he is guaranteed to either dodge or block the third rapid, even if he doesn't dodge the second one. So that just means 50% of the time when he does right jabs, he's not going to be able to take the third one. Now, that sounds really bad, but once I explain more about how this one works, you might understand why it still makes sense to go for high rapids. Uh, it's really just choice if you want to do either or. Uh, this one still gets a pretty good time, so if you're not super worried about getting a ridiculously good Narciss time and you want to go for a safer thing, this is fine. Uh, but be warned that these backups are absolutely terrible, uh, especially Dodge's second is not good. So uh, just like for option one, he's got to take three rapids to dizzy. If he takes three, boom, good. If he dodges the second one, now there's two things you can do here. One of them is like the normal person thing to do. Uh, you just buffer a right body. Now this right body, just like in option one, it can counter his body blow. It can also be blocked because he's doing an uppercut in that situation, it gets blocked. So if it gets blocked, you have to buffer another right body blow to counter his uppercut. And then you throw high rapids. Now, the reason I'm mentioning that here is because it is not guaranteed that he's dizzy by these, because he needs to take five. The maximum he takes off of a stun off of an uppercut is four, so that means the fifth one is left up to his own mercy. If he dodges the fifth one, I guess just buffer high rapids again and pray that he doesn't dodge them. And hopefully he dizzies at a reasonable time. Uh, if this ever happens to you, you are probably getting a terrible Narciss time, no matter what you try to do. Uh, he can also dodge. So uh, when he dodges, it's actually nicer than when he blocks. Uh, when he dodges, you just buffer a left body blow, and uh, that's it. Uh, when he dodges the third one, that means that he is doing uppercuts. Because for this scenario, when he does body blows, he literally always takes the third one, assuming he took the second. So that's pretty good compared to option one, where he could never take the rapid. Uh, but yeah, when he, when he dodges third, you buffer a left body, just like you did when he dodged the right body on dodges second. And that counters his uppercut, you know the deal. All right, so this loses a little bit of time. If you're familiar with how the game works, low rapids are slower than high rapids, but it's still only three, so you're not losing a ton of time. Why is this not just the preferred method? Now, I have to delve a little bit into refill stuff for this one, but it's okay. It's a pretty simple part of it. So when you do high rapids on option one, and he takes all three, he gets a really good refill in phase two which saves about three quarters of a second over a slightly worse one. Now, I think you can see where this is going. When you do low rapids, his refill happens to be the slightly worse one, which loses three quarters of a second 
So not only are you losing the time that you are from doing low rapids instead of high rapids, but you're also losing time by just not getting as good of a refill. And there's no way to get around this, and uh, so you just have to deal with it. Now, some people still won't care, which is why I'm even including this in the first place, because it is a viable option. But I just wanted to point that out, uh, that every single time on an option 2 for right jab counter, when you do low rapids, the refill will be worse. And sometimes it matters more than other times, and you'll see why later on. Okay, so on to the next one. Now this is last right jab, hit, no counter. So it just hits as a normal punch. Now this one is a little weird, uh, and this happens every time this scenario comes up. Uh, it can either be that he's doing his two left jab pattern, or his left jab right jab pattern. And there's no real way to tell. Uh, you just kind of either have to hope that he's doing this one, or try and react. Uh, I recommend just hoping that he does this one, because trying to react actually doesn't get you anywhere most of the time. So uh, I'll talk about the two left jab pattern first. It's really simple. Uh, so it just means that he's doing two left jabs, uh, and what you do in this situation is you counter his left jab, uh, so you delay a left jab after the last right jab hits but doesn't counter, and after that, you buffer a left jab and then a right jab, you counter his next punch, and then you pause, and then you do high rapids, he only has to take two for this scenario, you can take two or dodge the second, if he takes two, it's even better than him taking three off of the last scenarios that we were talking about, so that's very good. If he dodges the second, uh, you just buffer a right body blow, and uh, it's super simple. Like Because he can't do bodies or uppers off of these scenarios, it is way, way, way easier to learn these backups, because it's just one thing. Uh, and then you'll see here that there's an option 2. Now the reason there's an option 2 here, the reason it's listed the way it is, is because this one just involves throwing a high super at the end. The only difference is that you don't have to do that right jab after the left jab that you throw in the first stun. You just do two left jabs, and then you counter, and you pause, and then you do a high super. Now. That high super. The only reason this isn't the 100% recommended method is because in order for it to dizzy, you have to have not lost any more than four frames on both counters. So if your execution isn't super tight, I do not recommend going for this at all. It is way better to have a chance at him taking two than it is to never have a chance at him dizzying at all. Now, the cool thing about this is it only loses about 0.2 or 0.3 over doing the rapids. But unlike the rapids, this goes through literally every single time if your execution is on point. And that is huge. And it still gets a good refill. The same one as this one. Usually it's a couple pixels better, which is kind of funny. Uh, so that's two left jab pattern. This really doesn't change most of the time. So for the next two scenarios we'll talk about, it's exactly the same. Uh, any small difference I'll mention, but just remember, uh, literally any time, he just has to take two rapids off of this. In fact, literally any time where he dodges any rapids at all at, off of a two left jab pattern, you are countering with a right body blow. Every single time, without fail. It's pretty cool. Uh, now onto the left jab, right jab pattern. This one is annoying to talk about because there is technically three things that can happen uh, on the punch you throw after the right jab doesn't counter when this scenario happens. Now, if you're reacting to if he's doing the two left jab pattern or the left jab, right jab pattern, you can counter the left jab that he throws at the start. Now, this usually isn't even better than just hitting him normally. Uh, it's up for debate though, because technically when you don't counter him, he has also a chance of dodging 
which some of the backups off of that are usually slow. But they're not so much slower that it makes countering worth it somehow, because countering is usually slightly slower than no counter. Just decide it for yourself. Uh, when you counter him, you throw two left jabs, and then he counter his right jab. Uh, you gotta delay it, obviously. Uh, and then you pause. I'm sorry, you don't have to pause for this one. It's not always necessary to pause. And then you counter it, you do high rapids, it takes three to dizzy. And if he takes three, good, yet again. Dodges the third, buffer a left body blow, counters his uppercut. Uh, off of no counter. This one is really good, actually, uh, most of the time. So, after you don't get a counter, buffer two left jabs. The second left jab isn't guaranteed to land. Hits. You have to delay a left body blow that counters. That's the good scenario. If he dodges it, buffer two right body blows. This one varies depending on the scenario, so this isn't what you do every time this happens in every scenario. But you're buffering two right body blows because you need more super meter uh, than just delaying a left body counter would. So, or sorry, buffering in this situation it would be. And so, you do that, uh, and yeah, after the right body will counter, you know what to do. Uh, if he dodges the left jab after this whole thing starts, uh, you just buffer a left jab and it counters him, two more left jabs, and then you delay a right jab to counter him, and then you pause. For this one, you have to pause. And then you do high rapids, it takes three to dizzy yet again. If he takes three, good. If he dodges a third, buffer a left body counter, just like you do on counter. A lot of this stuff is really repetitive just because it's not as complicated as it is on the last right jab countering, because that one has multiple things he can do, and all this stuff is just uppercuts, so it's really, really, really consistent. Uh, in later scenarios, I won't be going over all of this as in-depth, so if you need to like come back to try and remember something, you can either look at the written guide, which has all of this written out in a mildly similar way, uh, including the inputs you do when he dodges each thing. I'm just saying them out loud because it's easier in video form. Uh, and also, obviously, you'll have the video in the bottom right uh, showing the strat as I'm talking about it. Um, but yeah, if you ever need to come back and learn this stuff again, come back to this one uh, if it's... Uh, if it's insta-retail, one-body retail, no-body counter, or two-body counter, to an extent. Two-body counter mostly just for, like, what thing you buffer when he dodges, because two-body counter is technically really different. One-body counter is different enough, but it's also pretty similar. So, like I said, I won't be going over all this stuff, like, every single time. This is just, it's the first one, so I need to talk about it more in depth so that people understand. And now, for the last section on Instant Retail, we've got Last Right Jab, Dodged. Now, on Instant Retail, this one is pretty bad, uh, especially on the Left Jab, Right Jab pattern. Less so on the Two Left Jab pattern, but we'll get to that right now, in fact. Uh, when he does a two left jab pattern, you counter him, same thing, right? You'll notice it says option one and two. It's because they both end with rapids. No high super stuff here. Now, for option one, you just do two left jabs after the first counter, second counter, throw another left jab after that, you pause, and then you throw high rapids. You can dodge the second one, you know when he dodges off of the left jab, right jab pattern, you buffer a right body blow, and it is always correct. Uh, and option two. Now this one's interesting, because this one involves refill manipulation, which, like I said earlier, it will come up. Uh, but when you do option one, the refill is, like, kind of bad, and that's that sucks. But if you do option two, which is after you counter with the left jab, you throw two right jabs instead of two left jabs. Counter again, throw a right jab, you pause, and you do high rapids. If he takes both of them, in phase two, he will have the good refill. 
Now that just sounds awesome, right? Like, why not just do that every time? Well, it's because you have to be frame perfect on the second counter. Um, if it wasn't obvious, when he dodges the last right jab, you just, like, buffer a left jab and it counters every time. So that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, you have to be frame perfect on the counter, which, if you're not consistent at doing that, especially in a run setting, it might not be a good idea, uh, but you could get a really cool refill. Now, what will happen if you aren't frame perfect is he'll take two, and then he'll, he goes into the uppercut. So that's bad. Uh, but if he takes two and you went fast enough, you went frame perfect, you get the thing. And that's pretty cool. Uh, for left jab, right jab pattern here, there's two options for counter. Which is funny because counter is the one that you're like, just not gonna do, basically. <laughs> like, I don't know of anyone who does this except for uh, on two body counter. Um, option one. It's just after countering his left jab, there are two more left jabs, counter his right jab, throw another left jab, pause to fill up the super meter, do high rapids, he has to take two. He takes two, that's it. Uh, if he dodges a second, you know literally every single time he dodges rapids off of left jab, right jab pattern, buff or left body blow. And it counters his uppercut. It's crazy. Option two. I don't recommend this. I'm just going to start off saying that. This one is only here because it's technically faster sometimes. But uh, it's the same thing, but after the second counter, instead of a left jab, you throw a right jab. Pause, spill up the super meter, do high rapids. This time, he has to take three. Now, he can dodge the second or the third. If he takes three, it's like 0.2 faster than option one. So, that's just really great. Uh, and if he dodges second or third, Bob for left body counter. Can you believe it? Uh, but yeah, that's probably never going to be used by anybody anyways, but it's just cool to know about, I guess. Uh, off of no counter, um, it's the same thing as a uh, right jab hit no counter. Um, you just buffer two left jabs. If uh, the second one hits, you buffer left body blow and then right body blow. The, le the right body blow counters his uppercut, uh, and then, yeah. If he dodges, buffer a left body blow that counters his left uppercut, and then you do a tap dodge, left jab, right body blow, that right body blow counters his uppercut, uh, you'll notice we do a tap dodge, that's because during uppercuts you can get in three punches uh, on the stun, and it just so happens to be that doing a tap dodge into a left jab is much faster than doing three punches, believe it or not. Uh, this is one of the few scenarios where countering is actually like way better than not countering because even the left jab hit scenario is like kind of slow but you know it, it's fine it's a little more reasonable to counter when he dodges so that's an advantage i guess uh but most of the time you'll probably just be getting this so get used to these two if he dodges the left jab uh you do two left jabs right jab counter left jab pause to build the super meter and then you do high rapids, has to take two to dizzy, he dodges the second, whoa, this is crazy, you buffer a left body below the counter. Yeah. Uh, and that does it for instant retaliation. Um, like I said, if you need to go back, look at stuff, look at the written guide to help you, that's all fine. Uh, I won't bring this up again just because this is all starter uh, things. And, uh... Yeah, now we'll go on to one body retaliation, which is more of the same, basically. So, that's fun. And now, on to one body retaliation. Like I said, this one is very similar to no body retaliation. Uh, so, yeah, you'll look at this and you'll think, wow, that looks extremely familiar, and then you'll look at this one and think, wow, that looks almost familiar. And that's because it is. Uh, like, option one on one body retail and option one on no body retail are almost exactly the same. Uh, the only difference 
is you don't have to throw a left jab after the second counter. You just pause after the second counter and then try and throw high rapids and then boom. It's all the usual stuff. He takes three, good, dodges second, buffer right body blow, you know, all that stuff. Dodges third, buffer left body blow, it's still the same thing. Blocks third, buffer left body blow, it's also the same thing. So, just, yeah, that's super easy to remember, right? It's literally exactly the same. Uh, now, option two. It looks different, because it says take four, instead of takes three. Now, I have to say this, because this one is kind of weird. This one is slightly different. Less different than it may appear. Uh, so, once you get that first counter, when the last right jab counters, uh, you buffer a right jab. And then you buffer another right jab. That counters the second time. And you pause. Alright? After you unpause, you do low rapids. Once again, option two is low rapids. Uh, and instead of taking three this time, he has to take four. Uh, now, you'd expect this to be worse, because like, oh no, another thing that he can dodge. But no, he literally cannot dodge the fourth one. Uh, and he can't dodge the third one once again. If he does bodies, he can if he does uppers. Now, once again, the backups are just absolutely atrocious. I won't go over it all again in detail, but dodges second is terrible. You buffer right body and hope that it works, uh, and then if he takes it, good. Uh, if he blocks it, uh-oh, buffer a right body again and then pray, and then if he dodges it, buffer a left body, and then it's kind of almost okay. If he dodges the third one, buffer a left body, and that one's probably the most, like, reasonable backup of all of them. Uh, and yeah, that's seriously it for, uh... Last right jab counter option one and two. It is so ridiculously similar to no body counter that there really isn't much to say about it outside of that. All right, last right jab hit no counter for one body retail. Uh, off of the two left jab pattern, it's exactly the same as no body retail. He uh, <laughs> he's got to take two rapids. You do left jab right jab after the first counter. You counter him again with a left jab. It's the same. Like I said, uh, if he dodges the second, it's a right body counter because it literally always is. And once again, you've got option two at your disposal. It works exactly the same way as it does in no body retail, so that, that's all good. On the left jab, right jab pattern, things get slightly different here. Uh, when you counter, you do a tap dodge left jab, and then you counter his right jab and do high rapids. Has to take three. He takes three he dizzies. If he dodges a third, left body counter, like usual. No counter. This is the main big difference. Now this time, instead of buffering two left jabs, you wait for his right jab. And you counter it, you throw another right jab, and you do high rapids. He has to take three to dizzy, he can dodge the second or the third. If he dodges the second or the third, buffered left body counter. Yeah. If he dodges the left jab after the right jab does not counter. You buffer a left jab to counter him, buffer two more right jabs, and then delay a right jab to counter his right jab, and do high rapids. He has to take three, he can dodge the third, you know the deal. Left body counter if he dodges the third. Very, very, very simple. One body retail, last right jab, dodged. Would you believe me if I told you that off of two left jab pattern, it is exactly the same as no body retail? Literally, exactly the same. You do the same punches. It's crazy. Left jab, right jab pattern. Off counter, you can either take three high rapids or dodge the third. Uh, it's just after you counter, two left jabs, and then a right jab counter, you pause, and then do high rapids. You know what to do if he dodges at all in any of these scenarios. It's a left body counter. Now for no counter, if, it, if the second left jab hits, it's two buffered left jabs again. If the second one hits, you delay a left body to counter his uppercut. If he dodges the second left jab, you buffer a left body, and then do tap dodge left jab, right body blow, the right body blow counters his uppercut. Off of dodge, uh, you do two left jabs after buffering the left jab to counter, 
and then you counter his next attack with a right jab, you pause, new high rapids, he's got to take three to dizzy, if he dodges the third, you buffer a left body blow. Uh, one body retail is very samey in comparison to no body retail, so, uh, pardon me if I was a little bit quick on some of this, but really, if you need to go over the stuff again, you could probably just watch the insta retail section again, or like I've said before, read the guide. But uh, yeah, time to move on to the counter scenarios, which are way more fun, by the way. Alright, our first counter scenario. Uh, nothing changes all too much between no body counter and one body retail. In terms of how much super meter you have, they're very similar. So there's not a ton of variation. It definitely gets way more fun with one body counter and two body counter. But uh, yeah, looking at this, it looks exactly the same. Uh, because it is. <laughs> it is literally exactly the same as one body counter uh, to a T. There is absolutely nothing different here. It's the same thing after you counter with the right jab. Uh, both times, just pause on the last counter and do high rapids or low rapids, depending on which option you're doing. If he takes three, cool. If he dodges second, you buffer right body blow. You know the scenarios for that. If he dodges the third, you buffer a left body blow. If he blocks the third, you also buffer a left body blow. For last right jab counter option two, if you're doing low rapids, he's got to take four, just like one body retail. If he dodges the second, you buffer right body blow and pray. If he dodges the third, you buffer a left body blow. And it's that simple. This is all very, very easy stuff right now. So, uh, yeah, have fun while it lasts, because one body counter and two body counter completely throw most of this out the window. It's fine. Alright, last right jab, hit no counter on the two left jab pattern. This time, it's very slightly different. After the first counter, you buffer two left jabs. There's no right jab this time. And then you counter again, and do high rapids. It's two to dizzy yet again. You know what to do after he dodges the second. And once again, the option two is just a high super instead of high rapids, which is a guaranteed dizzy as long as you were fast enough. Remember, it's a four frame window. Or rather, you can lose up to four frames, no more than that. On left jab, right jab pattern, this one is a little bit different from one body retail because you have a little less super meter uh, in this situation compared to that one. So the no counter scenario is the same as it was on no body counter with a couple of differences. Uh, anyways, if no counter happens, buffer two left jabs, uh, and then the second one hits, you delay a left body blow. If the second one is dodged, you buffer a left body blow and pause. The pause is very important for that one. Uh, in the dodge scenario, uh, you buffer a left jab to counter him, buffer two more left jabs, counter his right jab with a right jab, do high rapids, he's got to take three, you know what to do if he dodges the third, buffer a left body. Super easy. No body counter, last right jab, dodge. Uh, there's a couple of notable things for this one. Um, so on the two left jab pattern, you'll notice that there's no, like, option two, like there has been on one body retail and no body retail. That's because you get the good refill just by doing left jabs. It's crazy, bro. Uh, but yeah, so all you can do is either take two or dodge second, and you know what to do when he dodges off of the two left jab pattern. Left jab, right jab pattern, if you counter, you do two left jabs, and then you do a right jab, and you pause. Also, you pause on this one, too. That's important. I know it showed it in the video, but I just want to say it. Uh, and you can take three or dodge the third, but for a left body if he dodges the third. No counter. This is the same thing again. Left jab hit, left jab dodge. If it hits, you do a delayed left body to counter. If he dodges it, you do a buffered left body. Tap dodge, left jab, right body, or the right body counters his uppercut. Uh, if he dodges the punch, you counter, and then do two left jabs, and then counter again. Pause, 
do high rapids, he has to take three. He can take three, dodge his third, upper left body. The usual. <laughs> nice, good, refreshing taste of Mountain Dew for the first situation that's actually fun to execute. Not just because the tie-ins off of it are good, and they're very good. They're literal eight-second times you can get with some of these. But it's also different. Finally, it's actually different from just no-body retail again, or one-body retail again. And so, here we have it. All right, we have one-body counter. This one is really fun. So as I said before, if you remember earlier in the video, I said this is the only one where you do something different to get him into the angry phase, and you do a different angry buffer. Because after you counter on one body counter, you would tap dodge and do a left jab, and then do right body blow, quick duck, right body blow, two left jabs. That second left jab, like I said, is very important because you need to pay attention to things. Possibly even more than you do on other scenarios, because you need to watch for his right jab animation. That last left jab will interrupt his right jab animation if he's doing the two right jab pattern. And remember, that one's more common than the other two. Um, and so when that happens, you buffer a right jab that counters his next right jab, and then you buffer a left jab, and you buffer a five rapids. He has to take three to dizzy. It's just like the other scenarios. Uh, if he takes three, he dizzies, and you can get an eight second time with that which is pretty good, I'm not sure if you know. If he dodges the second, it is the same as any other right jab counter uh, scenario, but this time it's left jab hit, right jab animation, just different words for basically the same thing. Now, uh, when he dodges second, not all the backups are as cut and dry as they were before, because the one downside of one body counter is that his dizzy meter is kind of slightly lower than in other scenarios. So this only really matters because of something off of dodge's second. Now off dodge's second you just pop it right body blow like you usually do. If it counters, cool, that means he did body blows. Uh, if it doesn't counter, you delay a left body blow counters his uppercut, the usual stuff, but if he dodges. You buffer a left body blow. Now usually you'd expect, oh well, I'll just do high rapids or whatever. You can't do that. It will not dizzy him. Unless you get... No, you, even if you get lucky, you cannot do it. Uh, so what you do, after you counter with the left body blow, you do tap dodge, left jab, right body blow. Just think about it as if you're doing, like, left jab, right jab, and he dodged the second buffered left jab off of no counter, and it was one of the ones where you, like, just don't have enough super meter. Just think about it like that. It's basically the same thing. Uh, and so, just like any other right jab scenario, you can dodge the third, rapid, uh, buffer left body blow like usual. If it counters, cool. If it doesn't counter, remember this one, because it's different. This is one of two times that this is different. If you don't get a counter, you have to delay a body blow to counter his next attack. Because if you try to do the buffer left jab thing, he doesn't dizzy like he does on the other scenarios. This is once again because of his dizzy meter being slightly lower. And once again, he can block the third. And that's the exact same thing as usual, you just buffer a left body and it counters him. It's pretty cool. And if you want to try and ask me about doing low rapids on this scenario, you are the scum of the earth. I am not going to do that. I'm not going to let you do something that will not get an 8 second time. I'm sorry, I have no mercy for you. Alright, just letting you know, I absolutely love this scenario and the one we're going to talk about next. I just think they're really fun to do. Who knew that beating up British people could be so fun? Anyways, uh, so this one is for when the left jab hits, but you don't see the right jab animation. So, normal punch, but no animation. So you delay a left jab in the hopes that you counter 
the two left jab pattern. Uh, I'll talk about that more in a second. Now, if you counter that two left jab pattern, well, you throw a right jab, and then you do high rapids. No pausing necessary. I usually do it anyways, just because I like doing it, but uh, it's just like a preference thing. Uh, if he takes three, he dizzies. If he dodges the third, now, this might sound crazy, but it's a two left jab pattern scenario, and when he dodges a rapid, you buffer a right body blow to counter an uppercut. That is insane. Unheard of. Anyways, uh, if you delay the left... Oh, I almost said body blow. I'm sorry. If you delay the left jab, and it doesn't counter anything, and you don't see his left jab animation, well, that means you got the left jab, right jab pattern, and unlike every other one, you actually have a chance to counter after you would have countered this one. That's the cool part about this scenario, because you don't have to worry about any bullshit on the left jab, right jab pattern. It's very annoying, usually, but here it's fun. Uh, so, this one's neat. You counter his left jab and the left jab, right jab pattern, you pause, and you do three higher rapids. So, there's a caveat to this. You'll notice the big red circle around these two. And I, I said, he, oh, he only needs to take three, but it says takes four and dodge four here. Well, what does that mean? Well, this is one where it's very easy to go too slow uh, to get the dizzy in three. But it also doesn't make it impossible for him to dizzy because he is still technically able to take a fourth because of how long the delay is. Uh, the cool thing about this scenario is that if you are fast enough, he is guaranteed to take three. Because that's just how it works. It's really cool and it's really fast. But the window is very tight. I'm not exactly sure how tight this one is, but it is tight. It is not exactly the easiest thing in the world. Now, if he takes four, he still gets dizzy. But when he has to take the fourth one, he also has a chance to dodge the fourth. And wouldn't you know it, it's a left jab, right jab pattern, and he dodges a rapid, which means you buffer a left body to counter his uppercut. Absolutely insane. Now, if he dodges the left jab that you tried to throw to counter or whatever, uh, you buffer a left jab to counter him, buffer another left jab, do high rapids, he's got to take four this time. He can dodge the third or the fourth, and if he dodges either of those, left body counter, your good old friend. And now we move on to the last part of one body count. And here we go. Last left jab, dodge. Because he can, in fact, do that, believe it or not. Uh, after you do this, you just buffer a left jab. And it's because you don't have to worry about countering off of the left jab, right jab pattern or not. It, it's so cool. I love, I love one body counter so much. Anyways, if the left jab counters... Upper two left jabs, counter his next left jab, throw another left jab, and throw high rapids. Uh, if he takes two, cool. If he dodges the second, right body blow counter. If it doesn't counter, you counter his left jab, throw another left jab, and do high rapids, it takes three. If he dodges the third, it's a left body blow counter. If he dodges, you buffer a left jab, throw two left jabs, Counter his right jab, throw high rapids, takes three to dizzy yet again, if he dodges the third, left body counter, yet again. And that is all of one body counter, uh, possibly my personal favorite uh, backup. This one was found by FPS, by the way, and it's very cool. Hi! hi. <laughs> Hello, Noodle! Look who has come to say hi. Everyone say hi to Noodle. Yes. Are you happy you got to make your appearance in the video? No? I knew you'd jump up here at some point. <laughs> okay. Alright, last one. Uh, I know I said one body counter is my favorite, but this is definitely an extremely close second because there is some really cool stuff you get to do here. Now, uh, as you can see, last right jab counter is really simple for this one. Uh, and it's not even a thing where I'm about to say, oh, no, it's actually really complicated. It just actually is extremely simple. So, when last right jab counters, 
and do a tap dodge left jab, and then you buffer high rapids. Now, those high rapids intercept his next right jab. If those rapids aren't buffered perfectly, you'll get hit. So just get good at that, I guess. I don't really know what else to say. Uh, if he takes five, he dizzies. He can only dodge the fifth one. If he dodges the fifth, buffer a right jab. This is the different part. Now, if that right jab hits him and it intercepts his right body animation, buffer a left jab. After that left jab hits, he dizzies. Now, if that right jab hits and you don't see his body animation, that means he's doing uppers. Delay a left body, counter. If he dodges, that means he's doing uppers, just buffer a left body to counter. It's really, really simple. Like I said, this is a super easy to learn and understand one, and at best, it's a low nine second, which is really good. I don't, I don't know if you know that. Last right jab hit, no counter. You delay a left jab. If it counters, two left jab pattern. It takes three to dizzy, all right? After you counter, you throw another left jab, you pause, and then you throw high rapids. If he dodges the third one, it's the usual right body blow counter. On the left jab, right jab pattern, if it's a counter, it takes four. Now, if it counters, you pause immediately and do high rapids. If he dodges the fourth, left body counter. Every single one of these, if he dodges any of the rapids, left body counter. Just saying that right now. I know I've said it before, but seriously, that is it. Now, I want to point this out. This scenario right here is the single fastest one for single segment. It is a 869, very funny number, at best. Unfortunately, as you can see, it involves countering off of a left jab, right jab pattern, which sucks. So let's just say this one is actually the fastest because that one's 875. It's the next best and it's actually reasonable. So yeah, these two are the best scenarios possible. It is crazy. Two body counter is very, very, very good. All right, so for no counter, uh, you just wait for him to do his right jab, you count, counter it with a right jab, throw high rapids, takes four, you can dodge the third or the fourth, you know how it is. Um, let's see. And then on dodge, you buffer a left jab to counter, you pause instantly, throw high rapids, he has to take five. Uh, if he dodges the fourth or the fifth, left body counter. Uh, also, I accidentally wrote 4th and 5th here. That's supposed to be 3rd and 4th, by the way. I apologize. Alright, and on to the last section of the last scenario. Finally. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Two body counter. Last right jab, dodge. Two left jab pattern. Obviously, you're just, like, buffering a left jab after he dodges, unless you want to try and counter here, which there's more to that. But, uh, he's gotta take two. It's crazy. What you do after he counters is you do two more left jabs. Counter his next left jab. Do another left jab. Do high rapids. If he dodges the second, you know the drill. It's the left jab, right jab pattern. And you counter. You'll notice that there is nothing written next to it. That is because after you counter, you do tap dodge left jab, and then you buffer high rapids, and it goes through every single time. So that's pretty cool. On no counter, you wait, you counter his right jab, you pause, and you throw high rapids. Takes four to dizzy, he can dodge the third or fourth, you know the drill when he dodges. When he dodges the left jab after he dodges the right jab, which sounds quite funny, you buffer a left jab to counter his left jab, and then you do tap dodge, left jab, high rapids, and you'll notice this one also has nothing written next to it, that is because it goes through every single time. It is awesome. And that finally does it for the, like, basic layout of every single angry scenario. Now, next, we'll be talking about delays and 
phase two and phase three. Delays, less so. But phases two and three are very important. And talking about phases two and three also means we get to talk about refills, which is my favorite thing ever. And I am not joking, that is real, probably. See you then. Wait right there. There's actually one last thing. I wanted to just go over a quick overview of all this stuff, because I think maybe the way I went about it can get a little bit confusing when you hear every individual thing, but this boils it down to the bare minimum, just basic stuff. Alright. So when last right jab counter on nobody retail, one body retail, and nobody counter, when he dodges a second, you always buffer a right body. Remember that. When he dodges the third, you always buffer a left body. And when he blocks a third, you always buffer a left body. Now obviously, if you're doing option two where you do low rapids, these are the only two that apply to that. And then one body counter when you do uh, the last left jab hits and you see the right jam animation, all the backups there are also exactly the same. The only things that you need to remember are these two, because sometimes they have variation. Other than that, everything is exactly the same, and that is all you have to worry about. And then, for two body counter, that's the one that's different, since you can only dodge the fifth one, you're always buffering a right jab, you just have to remember what to do after that, depending on what happens. Now, when he does the two left jab pattern, I have said it, and I will say it again, you always buffer a right body when he dodges any rapid. And then for the left jab, right jab pattern, when he dodges any rapid or anything in general, you buffer left body every single time, or delay left body. Or, there is one time in the entire list of scenarios where it is better to buffer a right body because you won't have enough super meter, and getting that second counter, sorry, getting that right body to counter, that one gets it so that you can dizzy. Every other scenario, you can't do that. You want to know why? I have no idea. But it's... Uh, no body retail, and then last right jab hit, no counter, and then he does the left jab right jab pattern, you get no counter, he dodges the second left jab, and then you buffer two right body blows the second one counter. That is the only time that it's different. But in general, all of this is going to stay the same. So if you just want a basic thing, you can just take a picture of that, you can write it down yourself. That is all you need to start out. If you know this, you can start doing the Narciss fight competently. Uh, along with this, along with what we're going to be talking about next, like I said, refills and phase two and three, very important to the fight. But if you know this, this is the groundwork that you can work off of to do everything else. Now, I planned on going into it before, but now that I've finally gone over all this, we are done with part three, and we go on to part four. Refills, phase two, and three. See ya after a quick intermission. On to part four. In celebration of what we're talking about, I got a refill of my favorite chocolate milk. Anyways, so refills, as I've stated before, are so, so, so important. Um, off of retaliation in phase one, so either no body retaliation or one body retail, there are three different refills you can get. A low refill, a mid refill, and a high refill. 
off of a counter phase one, so no body counter, one body counter, two body counter, you can have a low or a high refill. Uh, and now ju we're just gonna go over what any of that even means. Uh, the refill and what it looks like will be in the bottom right. Any extra information you need to, need to know that I don't say out loud will be over there as well. Uh, and then you'll also have gameplay of what it looks like when you do each thing off of each refill. So, these refills, some are more complicated than others. Uh, off of Retaliation, they're much more difficult to learn all of because there are extremely, extremely precise, like, pixel differences on some of these. But uh, first off, we'll talk about the low refill. That is the best outcome you can get off of Retaliation Phase 1 because that means you get to do the quick dodge into left body into high super, and that KOs him. It is very fast. It takes about 174 or 173 on the clock, depending on what decimal you're on, and uh, it's about in the middle of the number in the tenths place on the decimal. Um, I'll have a picture of it, like I said, right there, and that one is super good, but the one issue is because the mid refill exists. Now, the mid refill is exactly a pixel higher or two pixels higher than the low refill. So some people get tricked into thinking that they just got the low refill and then they try and do the left body counter high super and then he gets up. So this one, uh, I'll have two pictures right there because you will need both of them to uh, figure out which refill you're getting. Uh, this one is super tricky to learn at first, but eventually you just get an eye for it. Uh, the backup for this one is a delayed right body blow, which interrupts his first left body, and then another delayed right body blow, which counters his right body, and then a high super, and that KOs him. That one takes around 2.48 uh, or 2.47 on the timer. Now, I refill. This one is a pixel higher than the higher of the two that are on the mid refill, and anything higher than that also applies as a high refill. Uh, also, anything lower than the low refill I showed also means a low refill, if that wasn't obvious. Uh, this one has two things you can do, technically. Uh, one of them is low super, quick dodge, right body blow, high super. The other is quick dodge, left body blow, high super, and then two left bodies, a right jab, and then a high super. So first we'll talk about the low super, right body blow, counter, high super one. This one is special because it only works if your decimal is .77 or lower. Because if it is higher than that, the timer will it'll break the 4 second rule for uh, KOs on Narciss and a lot of other fights in the game, because it takes 324 or 325 on the timer. Now, you can technically drop the quick dodge into the right body counter, which saves 8 frames, uh, and that means that you can technically do this backup until 9-2, uh, but obviously at that point you'd have to be frame perfect in order for it to work. Uh, when you get high decimals like that, I recommend doing the other one, and some people prefer just doing this one every time because it's faster. Uh, the second backup that I said, the one where you do quick dodge, left body, high super, and then the two left bodies, the right jab, and the high super, uh, that one takes about 274 or 273 on the timer, so you don't have to worry about the four second rule there, unless he dodges the finals high super, because that is something he can do. So that's the only reason you wouldn't just go for that every time, is because he has a chance of dodging the final high super. It's obviously in your favor, uh, I'm not sure the exact odds on it, I'm pretty sure it's like 3 and 4 or 4 and 5 or something that it lands, but if you want to go over that, sure, and you kind of have to if it's over 9-2 or if it's over 7-7 seven, seven and you aren't confident in countering the punch manually. Uh, we'll get into phase 3s after this, by the way. So off of counter, there are just two. The low refill, it is the same pixel as the lower of the two pixels on the retaliation mid refill, and that means it's a pixel higher than the low refill off of retail. Uh, this one lets you do a high rapid, it's delayed high rapids because you're interrupting his punch at the start of the phase, 
with the rapids, and then you do right body, quick duck, right body, high super, and just like in the second high scenario off of retail, he has a chance of dodging that final high super. And then for the high refill, you do a full dodge into a high super, which will interrupt his attack, just like the rapids did. Uh, if he moves, you have to delay after the full dodge in order to accommodate for that. Uh, and then you do two left bodies, right jab, high super, just like you did in the second one of that. And he, again, has a chance of dodging the final high super. Another thing you can do for high, instead of doing a full dodge, you can do tap dodge, quick dodge if he doesn't move, and tap dodge, tap dodge if he does move. For those of you that are good at reacting to stuff like this, this will be pretty useful so that you don't have to just delay whatever amount you feel is correct. Speaking of buffers, uh, you can use a pseudo buffer for rapids. The one that I like is full dodge, slight delay, high rapids. It works for me very well. I'm able to get frame perfect rapids pretty consistently, and that's not even something you need to do for single segment. So I definitely recommend you guys try that out. Uh, there's also technically a frame perfect buffer for it, but that's obviously assuming that he doesn't move, and it would be very, very annoying to make a variation of that that works for when he does move, especially because he can twirl or walk at the start, and both of those have different lengths. Uh, and that's basically it for Phase 2s. Um, if you need to go and look at all the refills off of different decimals, I have a full sheet in the written guide that you can look at. Some of the numbers are kind of tricky when it comes to telling where exactly it is on the number. So like I said, with the low refill on Retaliation, it looks like it's around in the middle because it's three pixels in from the left edge of the number and four pixels out from the right edge. So it's the pixel right in the middle. Uh, but for numbers like one, some of these other ones, when you're trying to use this one as a reference point, it makes it kind of hard to tell exactly where it is because one is so much smaller than all of the other numbers. 4 is another kind of tricky one, 7 not as much, but same idea basically. So yeah, if you need help with any of that, I have a full sheet, it is in the written guide, you can go and look at that. And that is it for uh, phase 2s and refills. So, unfortunately, there are situations where you'll make it to phase 3 in the Narciss fight. It hopefully won't happen too often, but Considering how much other Lux space stuff there is in this fight and how horribly wrong everything can go, it'll happen sometimes, so we need to talk about them, and you need to know what to do, assuming the scenario comes up. So off of Retaliation, it's really, really simple. Uh, obviously, the only reason you would ever get to Phase 3 off of Retaliation is if you did the wrong backup, if you went for the low super, uh, right body, high super one, and you tried to manually time the counter and you were too slow, or if you went for the quick dodge left body, high super, and then two left bodies right jab, high super, and he dodged the last high super. Uh, in the event that he dodges that last high super, you start buffering a dodge. If he's doing the two left jab pattern, you can do a quick dodge. If he's doing the left jab right jab pattern, you have to do slightly longer of a dodge, and you just buffer a high super into it all the same. Uh, but yeah, you just do full dodge, high super, and if he delays, you delay after the full dodge. Once again, you can do the tap dodge, quick dodge, slash tap dodge, tap dodge thing uh, for if he delays or not, and that's really it for retaliation. Uh, sometimes if you like do the wrong backup uh, in phase two, or you do the wrong phase two off of what refill you get, the refill will be very low, which makes it so that you can do garment if up low super. Uh, that is technically an option, but I, I hate it. Uh, usually at that point, it's low enough for you to just be able to do, like, right jab into his uh, punch instead of high super, so you could do either or. Technically, like, Garmin if up low super is faster, but why? <laughs> um, anyways, off of counter for phase three. This will only happen if he dodges the final high super, um, and less so off of the low refill phase 2 for counter because it's much more forgiving uh, with the time since the high rapids one is 166 or 165 and the high super one is 240 or 240 sorry 240 or 239 I almost said 41 uh, and so 
yeah, you'll only get there on either of those situations most of the time off of the high rapid space two. When he dodges the final one, he'll probably stay down after the high super because you have so much time to spare. But if he delays a ton and he does like everything possible wrong, then you'll get to phase three off of that. But uh, yeah, you want to start this one by trying to get him to retaliate. So you just buffer a bunch of lead bodies. If he moves, I don't recommend trying to throw more. Uh, so if he moves on the first one, you can try and throw another one once the animation ends, just like you do in phase one, uh, and that can get him to retaliate. But if you're on the second one and then he moves, don't throw any more. Do doesn't do anything. It'll only mess up your timing for what you have to do after. So if he retaliates, you just block high, do a left body, and then a high super, that'll knock him out. That's super easy. If he doesn't ever retaliate, you have to deal with his flurry punch. Now this is just when he does that thing where he like shakes back and forth and he blinks in and out of existence really fast, uh, and then he throws three punches. So you've got two options here. You can uh, block three punches and then do a left body and high super, which knocks him out, but it's very slow. Or you can counter the first one with a left jab. Uh, if you counter the first one with a left jab, you have to buffer three right body blows and then a high super, and that it works the same way as all of the high supers into his angry phase in phase 2 did, so that means he has a chance of dodging it. So if you don't want to do this, I totally understand, but it looks really cool, and this buffer is only useful for this, so might as well use it at some point, I guess? Uh, I'd also like to note that you can block the first one, and then buffer a right jab, and that'll also counter the flurry just slightly slower, and I'm pretty sure it works the exact same way for blocking two and then hitting the third uh, on the left. So uh, yeah, that's really it for phase three. Phase three, assuming you ever get to it, it's very simple. It's not really hard to understand how all of this stuff works. So that's really it. Uh, that's, that's it for part four. Part four is pretty simple, uh, but it's a lot of learning. It's a lot of just remembering what to do off of each refill, being able to see what pixel the refill is on. And once you get good at it, it'll become super easy. You won't even have to worry about it. You'll just look at the top right of the screen, you'll see the yellow bar at whatever pixel, and you'll be good from there. But now we're going on to part five, and this is the complicated stuff that I've been talking about. Uh, a lot of this I probably won't go over in complete depth in the video, uh, so if you want even more after this, you could go to the written guide. I recommend this as a supplementary to the written guide because I think this will help people visualize things and the written guide goes in more depth into a couple of things which this video can't cover just for time purposes and brevity purposes because I don't want things to get overly confusing. Uh, but yeah, on to the complicated stuff. First off is something that I won't go into extreme detail in in this video because it's not really something that a video helps. I'll throw all the images up on screen as I talk about them, but this is about the 9 second rule. Now this rule is basically a thing on the Narciss fight where once you get him into his angry phase, if you knock him down before 9.03, so 9.01 or earlier, he will have a low refill basically guaranteed, uh, as long as you do all the right stuff. Uh, it won't be like a super high one, is more, that's like a better way to say it, I guess, because once you hit 903, you automatically get a super high refill unless you throw a bunch of extra punches, which is why other refill things work, which I'll get into in the next section. Uh, but basically, because of this rule, Delays in pre-angry are extremely important to keep track of, because at a certain point, there are a bunch of scenarios, a lot of the best scenarios that end up with 10, 9, even 8 second times that get affected by this because of how much delays can do in terms of damage to backups. Now, like I said, I'm not going to go over every single individual one because there's really no point. Uh, here are the images. This is for no body retail, this is for one body retail, this is for no body counter, this is for one body counter and two body counter. They're both on the same sheet because there are very few that are affected in the 
those scenarios. Uh, if you'd like to go and see those images, they are also in the written guide, and you can look at those. They've got all the information you need to know how things work. Uh, those are things where you don't particularly have to memorize everything, like the numbers and decimals and stuff, but you should remember that off of certain delays, some things are impossible to get a good refill on. So you'll get uh, Insta Retail, 2 right jab pattern, or in this case it would be Nobody Retail since this is a delay. You'd get Nobody Retail, 2 right jab pattern, and you could counter him and do high rapids and stuff. It lands all three high rapids, you know, it goes through less often than low rapids. You land all three, that would usually be a 7 second or 8 second phase one if you're kind of slow. Uh, oh no, it's only 8 second for one body retail. Anyways, it would be a 7 second phase one and a 9 second uh, KO, which is really good. But because of a delay that he did at the start, let's say for example a twirl, you went into angry at 396 into, instead of the usual like 269. Well, that pushes the knockdown time over 9. And that's an issue. So, that makes it so his refill is like, it's over the high refill. It's it's one of the higher of the high refill deaths like, like pixels. It's terrible. And that's something that can happen on any of those backups that I listed on any of those images that I showed. And like I said, if you want to look at those more, they're in the written guide. Now we'll go on to the fun stuff, which is the advanced angry backups, which are so complicated. This is going to be an absolute chore to put together in a cohesive way. See you there. Hello, and welcome back to Professor Narcistry's lecture on advanced backups. If you thought the rest of this stuff made me look like a complete nerd, then this blows it all out of the water. Now, the reason all of this is so complicated, and in its own section, is because it is extremely hard to remember. For this, I am going to have to be scrolling through my written guide in order to help me remember all of this stuff, because even I, the person who found all of it, can't remember it all right now. Now, eventually I will, hopefully, but first we have to talk about all of these. Now, if you remember from before, I told you to just do high rapids after a counter unless I stated otherwise, because high rapids always works. Now, that's true. However, it's not the fastest, and it doesn't always result in the best refill. And so that's where this comes in. There is a science to it, it is very complicated, there is no point in knowing, because I've already written down all of the perfect things for every single scenario, all like 150 something of them. So here we go. The format for this video will be, I talk about one pre-angry scenario, so for example, Insta Retail, One Body Retail, etc. I talk about that one, and then I go through the same way I did originally with Last Right Jab Counter, Last Right Jab Counter Option 2 if there is one, and then Last Right Jab Hit No Counter, etc, 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 you know how it works. And then, under those, I will talk about which ones are used during that scenario, any from this list, and then I will tell you which backups you use each one on. That is the best way to say this, because otherwise I have to go through and talk about every backup and then say what you have to do, and that is borderline impossible to remember. So first, before we actually get into any of them, we need to talk about these. So obviously, you know high rapids, you can also do high super, you can do left jab high rapids, just letting you know this one is used one time ever, you can do left jab high super, or right jab high super. All of these are used at least once, and they are all useful in different ways. Uh, just so that you know, off of a uppercut counter, high super is the fastest. Um, and then left jab, high rapids is the next fastest. And then high rapids after that, left jab, high super, right jab, high super, right jab, high super is a whole two frames slower than left jab, high super, if you're curious. Uh, and that is how it goes. And then off of a body counter, uh, it's slightly different since you only usually have to land three high rapids most of the time. Uh, 
so high rapids ends up being fastest it ends up being faster than left jump high rapids and high super and obviously much faster than the last two now we have talked about that i'm going to take a drink of chocolate milk as you can see right here this is one take because i am not going to go through and overdo this a bunch of times because this is just way too much information to have to say over and over again and i've already done that several times for the other sections of this video. This is not being late, me being lazy. This is me wanting to actually have the video come out at a reasonable time. So. Let's start off with no body slash instarita. Last right jab counter, option one. The ones used are high rapids, high super, and left jab high super. For high rapids, it's off of dodge's second counter, so when the right body blow counters, you do high rapids. Dodge's second dodge, so after the right body blow is dodged, you throw a left body blow, you do high rapids. And blocks third, so when he blocks the third rapid, you do a left body blow to counter, and then you do high rapids. The only one here that is used high super is dodge's second no counter. So dodge's second no counter just means that it just hits him, and then you delay a left body to counter his uppercut and you do high super, and he dizzies off of that. The ones that use left jab high super are dodge's second counter and dodge's third counter. So obviously you know what that means, dodge's second counter, you buffer a right body low after and he did body blows, so then you do left jab high super, and that makes his rebuild good in phase two. And then dodge's third counter is the same idea, you're buffering a left body for dodge's third, and it counters the uppercut, so then you do a left jab high super, boom. Now for option two, the only ones that are used are High Rapids and High Super. Uh, for High Rapids, you use it on every scenario involving him dodging the second Rapid, so that's super easy to remember, and the only time you use High Super is when he dodges the third. Now on to last right jab hit, no counter. So this is first the two left jab pattern, High Super for all, because that's what you do for option one and option two when he dodges the second. Uh, or, sorry, option two, that's if he, uh, like, doesn't dizzy uh, off of the high super. I was thinking of last right jab dodge, honestly. For the left jab, right jab pattern on last right jab hit, no counter, uh, we use high rapids, high super, and left jab, high super. For no counter, left jab dodge, that's when you use high rapids. For no counter, left jab hit, that's when you use high super. And then for counter, dodge is third and dodge, dodges third, you use left jab, high super. For last right jab, dodge, for the two left jab pattern, you use high super for every backup. For left jab, right jab pattern, you use high rapids, left jab, high rapids, left jab, high super. High rapids are used for counter option two, dodges second, and no counter left jab, dodge. And left jab, high rapids are used for no counter left jab, hit. That is the only time you ever use left jab, high rapids. And then left jab high super is used for counter option one, dodges second, counter option two, dodges third, and dodge, dodges second. Now we go on to one body retail. Last right jab counter option one, you use high rapids on dodges second, no counter, dodges second, dodge, and blocks third. You use left jab high super on dodges second counter, and you use right jab high super on dodges third counter. For option two, it is the exact same as uh, option two on no body retail. Use high rapids for every dodges second scenario and use high super for dodges third. On to last right jab hit no counter. On the two left jab pattern, it is right jab high super for all instead of just high super like it was last time. For the left jab right jab pattern, we use high super, left jab high super, and right jab high super. Uh, high super is used for no counter dodges third and dodge dodges third. Left jab high super is used for counter dodges third, and right jab high super is used for no counter dodges second. Alright, last right jab dodge. On the two left jab pattern, you use right jab high super for all again. Uh, on the left jab right jab pattern, you use high rapids and high super. Every no, no counter scenario uses high rapids, and counter dodges third and dodge dodges third use high super. Now we go on to no body counter. No body counter, last right jab counter is option one. We use high rapids, high super, left jab, high super. 
We use High Rapids on Dodge's second counter, and Dodge's second dodge. High Super for Dodge's third counter and blocks third, and Left Jab High Super for Dodge's second, no counter. For option two, you use High Rapids for everything. Last right jab hit, no counter. Two left jab pattern, high super for all. Left jab, right jab pattern, high rapids for no counter left jab dodged, and then everything else is high super. For last right jab dodged, the two left jab pattern, you do left jab high super for all. And then for the left jab, right jab pattern, we only use high rapids and left jab high super. High rapids are used on no counter left jab hit and no counter left jab dodged. And then left jab high super is used for counter dodges three, third, and dodge dodges third. Onto one body counter, this is where we start to get into slightly different terminology. If you remember, one body counter is different. For less left jab hit, right jab animation, we'd use high rapids and high super. For high super, we only do that on dodges third. Everything else is high rapids. Sorry, dodges third counter is high super. Everything else is high rapids. For less left jab hit, no right jab animation, uh, high super is used on no counter, dodges fourth, and dodge dodges fourth. Left jab high rapids is used on dodge dodges third, and left jab high super is used on counter dodges third. If you aren't able to figure that out, counter dodges third just means two left jab pattern, and then he dodges the third rapid. Everything else was for left jab right jab pattern. For last left jab dodge, we use high super and right jab high super. For counter dodges second, that is when we use high super, and we also use high super for dodge, dodges third. Right jab high super is used for no counter, dodges third. Now on to two body counter, this one is also slightly different. For last right jab counters, we do high rapids on dodges fifth, right jab dodge, and high super on dodges fifth uppers. If you remember correctly, when he does bodies, you just buffer a left jab after, and he dizzies, so there's no, like, fancy backup stuff for that. For last right jab hit, no counter. Off the two left jab pattern, it's right jab high super for all. Off of left jab right jab pattern, it, we use high super, left jab high super, and right jab high super. High super is used for no counter dodges fourth, and dodge dodges fifth. Left jab high super is used for counter dodges fourth. Dodge dodges fourth is also left jab high super. Right jab high super is used for no counter dodges third, and that is it. For last right jab dodge, two left jab pattern is just high super for all, and left jab right jab pattern, high rapids, and left jab high super. High rapids are used for no counter dodges third, and left jab high super is used for no counter dodges fourth. And that is every single fancy, special, advanced backup strat. I know that in this video it's not exactly gone over in a ton of depth, the clips go guy really fast, but there is no way I could go over all of this in depth, and there was also no way I could have included this in the original Angry section and had it all make sense. I think it's completely impossible to learn all of this all at once. I think you need to learn it in chunks. So people who are already familiar with Narcissus patterns pretty well can probably start learning this, but people just starting out definitely should wait on all of this stuff and just stick to high rapids on counters most of the time. And uh, that is it. That is literally everything. That is every single Narcissus thing that I have to talk about. Uh, obviously, this is a video. I can't really go into the same exact depth as I do in the written guide, so if there's anything you're confused about or you just want to see some extra stuff, the written guide has a bunch of things, and you can read that. Uh, get a snack and a drink for that as well, because it's 29 pages long. Uh, it's 27 of actual reading though, page 1 is the intro page, and page 29 is the credits, so uh, yeah. You should totally read the credits though, all the people there are awesome, but with that, you should also pay attention to what's coming up next, because it is also the credits. Thank you all so much for watching.